Dangerous Saudi drove airstrikes on private structures in Yemen's capital Sana'a on Friday killed no less than 14 individuals, including five kids in the vicinity of three and ten years of age having a place with a similar family. The International Committee of the Red Cross has called Friday's assault an over-the-top break of global philanthropic law and standards of furnished clash. The Saudi Drove Coalition has apologized for the assault, saying it was a specialized misstep. Russia Today reports. The coalition representative, Colonel Turkey Al Maliki, communicated profound distress over what he called an inadvertent and coincidental episode that brought about blowback and furthermore communicated true sensitivity to the airstrike casualties' relatives, the state run Saudi press agency detailed. Al Maliki additionally said that the coalition powers had finished the examination concerning the episode and directed a far reaching audit of Cho's military goals to look at whether they were perfect with worldwide helpful law and standard guidelines of focusing on. He additionally said that the airstrike was focusing on an authentic military goal, which was a healthy revolt to Warun. The coalition was not purposefully focusing on the private structures that were in the long run hitting the strike, he included blaming the Houthis for intentionally utilizing regular citizens as human shields by putting their military offices in private locale. He then reattested the coalition's sense of duty regarding the full usage of the arrangements of universal philanthropic law, particularly on the assurance of regular folks and use of most noteworthy measures of focusing and also lawful and moral responsibility regarding the standard of straightforwardness, the Saudi press agency announced. Friday's assault focused on the Fanjin range on the southern edges of Sana'a in the early morning and guaranteed lives of no less than 14 regular folks, including kids, as two private structures were lessened to rubble. Related, U.S.-Saudi ISIS salaries leaked online. The episode occurred only two days after the coalition hit an inn situated in the Yemeni capital, not a long way from the Houthi checkpoint. That airstrike likewise murdered many individuals. The assault on the inn was censured by the Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, which said the Saudi Drove Coalition was in charge of ensuring regular citizens in Yemen. The coalition activities were additionally denounced by numerous human rights associations. Lynn Melouf, Amnesty International's Middle East Research Chief, approached the UN to take a gander at the proof and make a move against the Saudis, including that schools and clinics lie in ruins. Several youthful lives, were, lost to foolhardy airstrikes, as detailed by AFP. The International Committee of the Red Cross denounced Friday's airstrike, calling it unbelievable. Eight of the casualties were individuals from a similar family, including five kids in the vicinity of three and ten years of age, said the representative leader of the Red Cross assignment in Yemen, Carlos Mauresani. Such loss of non-military personnel life is unbelievable and runs counter to the essential principles of the law of furnished clash, he included, as referred to by AFP. The UN likewise blamed the coalition for doing an assault on the Yemeni southwestern Tez area that murdered 20 individuals, including youngsters. In the week from August 17 to August 24, 58 regular citizens have been killed including 42 by the Saudi Drove Coalition, the UN Acher representative Liz Throssell told correspondents in Geneva on Friday. The coalition drove by Saudi Arabia has been pursuing a military crusade against Shia Houthi revolts in Yemen since March 2015, trying to put the removed Yemeni president back in control. Since the begin of the crusade, the coalition has been over and again blamed for murdering many regular citizens in its airstrikes yet at once in a while assumed liability for such occurrences. The battle and Saudi forced bar of the devastated country have added to a compassionate emergency in Yemen, including a noteworthy episode of cholera and proceeded with ailing health of the populace, human rights associations say. Real Western forces, inciting the US and the UK have been adding to the Saudi war exertion by offering Riyadh weapons and giving the coalition air missions with refueling and focusing on knowledge. 